How's everybody doing today? This is Lance Benson. I'm one of the Western Directors for the FDSOA, and I'm here to talk to you today about a subject that's near and dear to my heart. The use of seatbelts while riding a fire apparatus. In 2005, I lost a dear friend of mine when he fell from a moving apparatus while he was standing up putting his coat on responding to a structure fire call. It's a type of pain, the type of loss that I hope none of you ever experience and I hope your departments can stay away from. But we continue to kill and injure firefighters every year because of the non-compliance with seatbelt policies across the nation. I encourage you to be the change agent that your department needs if this is the type of cultural shift that is needed. It's an extra four or five seconds to put your coat on before you get on the truck, sit down in your seat, and simply buckle your seatbelt. You'll start to show people that safety is important to you, and if safety is important to you, hopefully you can be the uh, catalyst for that type of safety movement across your crew and possibly across your department. The type of pain that is associated with losing a member in the line of duty from such a preventable injury is something I hope none of you ever experience. The types of injuries that are career ending are something I hope none of you ever experience. It's such a simple way to reduce the line of duty death problem. And I hope that across the fire service, we start to embrace the idea of 100% compliance with seatbelts. I hope everybody's having a great day and thanks for listening.